I'm going to go pass the buck over to you, big guy. No go on the 12-man playoff next year? Tell me, Steve, what happened? Who 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 hurt who? So, <laughs> well, you know, look, the, the, the original 12-man playoff assumed that there would be, you know, a Pac-12, you know, an actual conference. Well, the Pac-12 is down to two teams, so that's not a conference. And now we are looking at a situation where they were – hoping to have a six by six platform where the six get in the six champions are in uh, the, the highest ranked ones. And then you've got your other ones, your at large uh, bids. There is no pac 12 and there. So now we're looking at, well, we don't have enough. We, we don't have the same number of conferences. So the pac 12 is looking at absorbing the mountain West. Okay, great. That will give them at least enough teams to have a conference, but that doesn't give them the quality to say that they should still be in a, a, a power five, right? So what we're seeing right now is all of this moving around, all of these teams that are, that are jostling to get out of the Pac-12 has essentially reset exactly the model that we were going to launch next year with the the current situation with with the situation as it was last year now they're looking to potentially move to a five by seven where the the top five champions of each one of the leagues that are left uh they get in and then you've got seven at large you know potentially however in order to make that change Every one of the commissioners of each conference, it has to be unanimous as a vote. The guy from the AAC, not the ACC, the AAC simply said, I don't like this model. We haven't thought it through. It doesn't get my vote. So therefore, at this point, because the Pac-12 doesn't exist, it, the, whole, the whole thing is on hold. Like They're, they're going to put it on hold until they can figure all this out. The whole concept of the 2024 playoffs being 12 teams is literally teetering right now on whether or not they can get this figured out. And it may happen. It may still work. But it's right there on the on the 50-50 line of they may not be able to get this figured out. And this could be pushed out as far as potentially 2026. That just frustrates yeah. the hell out of me, dude. I was pumped yeah. for this. No, you go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, it's frustrating. Um, it's I mean, again, I, it, it's a weird thing. Like, who would have thought that the Pac-12 would have just, you know, decimated and just no longer existed? So I understand the reasoning for having to readjust it. I don't understand the ACC, AAC, excuse me, not wanting to vote on it because what does wouldn't it benefit them? They're getting an extra slot now. Because you said it was six and six, right? Six conference championships plus six at large. Now it's five at conference large, championships right. plus seven at large, which would benefit the AAC, correct? Right? I'm assuming that wrong. You would think so, yeah. I don't understand it. No, no. I mean, that seems like it yeah. would just open up another at large bid. And and so I'm not sure. I think it has more to do with the fact that the TV revenue is going to change now because the West Coast is just in shambles. Um, they're looking at potentially saying that some of the smaller schools that may get in, because again, we're going to be playing these games at home stadiums, right? Like if FSU like is later in that they're going to play at Dope Campbell, right? Um, but so now they're talking about, well, you know, do we want to introduce streaming? It, it, it just, it opened up Pandora's box. The fact that they couldn't just take the model they had, that they had all agreed upon and just continue to move forward with it. Now that one blip, that one crack in, in the foundation is just causing all kinds of issues coming in. And look, I mean, it makes sense. Like what, what, the, what the hell is the PAC 12 supposed to do? They're supposed to get an automatic bid for their champion. There's only two damn teams in it. Sure. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, it's, it's just the, the, the law of unintended consequences when there's a mass exodus like that, but we're going to have to revisit the whole, the whole concept because there is no Pac-12. It's not going to exist. And if you just take the Mountain West and stick it in there, they're not quality enough to say that they belong to be a power five. to have their, yeah. their, yeah, to say that their champion 
automatically gets a bid. Look, I don't. I, if if a pack if the Pac twelve you know guy was saying, hey, I don't want to do this, that makes sense. But the AAC guy being the one that's holding all this up, it just makes. It's almost like he probably didn't want the playoff in the first. I don't know. I I, I just it, it benefits the, the a conference like the AAC, right? Well, it, look, it doesn't mean that there's not going to be another vote that he may he may relent. I think that the current vote he's not he he's just said no. It's just they, I think he doesn't believe that because the Pac-12 has dissolved and they're moving so fast to just act like it didn't matter that he wants he I think he just wants to slow the process down. Sure. He could very well vote yes you know, the next time around that we sure. could all, you know, just forget this ever happened. But as of right now, the 2024 12 team, it's on hold. It's not going to happen. Dave. Yeah, this is what you get when you try to change too many things at one time and want to completely let's change the landscape of college football but let's do a million things at one time like nil transfer portal uh let's change the conferences now we're going to do this now we're going to do that and, and, yeah, yeah that that's what you get 